Evolution Archers, the next one. I don't even know what it does, Shane. I have no idea either. I've never seen the card. I've never played the card. So I'm going in blind. What do they do? Wait, what are they doing? They're just shooting. I don't know. Oh, they're shooting pink arrows. They have the power of pink arrows on their side. Are they... What? Actually, what are, are they, they doing stronger? though? stronger? They have 70 more health. They have a longer range and their power shot range is 215. So will they survive arrows? Arrows is 366 at tournament standard. Of course they would survive arrows. That's annoying. How do you use it wrong? Well, because I would use them really close. I dropped them right at the bridge right next to your Tesla and they don't do extra damage if they're within the normal range. They only deal their extra power shot damage if they are far enough away from a target. Oh, that's why it deals so much to the, the hog rider. Yes. Is that double the damage? Um. Oh, yes, wait. it's right there. They deal double yeah, damage just, to far away oh, enemies with power it's shot. 312. I don't know how I feel about these evolved cards surviving like their counter cards. It just changes the way that works. They shouldn't. What if the evolved Sparky survives Rocket? It, pro no, it will. I have my Archer's Evolution ready to go. <laughs> I'm going to not poison it. <laughs> I, just to see what it does. Let's see. Let's, let's wait. Oh. Oh my God. Look at that damage though. And the longer range. Oh, it destroys. Watch this archer go with the, with the ice golem right uh, now. Watch it lock onto my tower from the extra range, attacking, and then look at that damage. What? Wait, no, it's, is it dealing extra damage? Yeah, look at it. It was only one archer, and she just, like soloed my entire tower with the double damage. If it's within five tiles of the target, it won't have the double damage, is my understanding. Yeah, so if it's closer, it's not gonna deal double damage. So basically, if you're using the evolved archers, you wanna use it far away from your target to activate that double damage power shot. But it's kind of interesting because it allows a bit of counterplay. It gives your opponent the opportunity to drop a card like a knight or something right on top of them to destroy it without them activating their double damage shot. So it gives your opponent a chance to like have some counter potential without making them too yeah. overpowered. Oh no! But Look at him block on my tower! Yo! What? You see that damage? Wait, that's RG range! Because they, they shot immediately. They didn't move into the it, tower. It, was, it, it is 6.5 tiles. Split evolved archers can be so powerful. If you got one power shot with the extra range on both sides of the arena, dealing double damage. Oh, true. And they're going to be so powerful on defense versus those uh, air cards, like balloons and lava hounds, just getting power shotted. And now you're going to have the arch evolution. And oh, they're going to destroy That's with the a extra lot of range. Damage. But now, because oh, the puffs are so close, if it's... yeah, they're basically regular archers, and then they activate the power shot versus the skeleton dragon. So when the puffs got close to it, they became basically regular archers. And oh no, look at this! Oh, <laughs> look at my tower! Oh my god, that archer! <gasps> oh, it's so much damage, dude. That's insane. Your archer defended the first one, though. Yeah, because she blocked it. She was so close that it denies the power shot. That's what I mean, like it activates, it gives the opponent some counter potential by dropping cards directly on top of it. So I feel like they, I feel like Supercell is learning from like the, the earlier evolutions being too powerful. And now they're kind of building in some sort of drawbacks. It's with easy the, to counter. Yeah. Oh, I gave you insane fireball value there. But you got a lot of spam and I can't build up, like with the archers coming down again and some more <laughs> ball breakers. Chill. They're, they better not connect, dude. They, what? How? How do they both connect? <laughs> what? This kid's broken. Oh shoot, I put it, my archer's too close. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I don't have fireball ready to go. I'm gonna split mine up right now. Got two to the left side, one to the right side. Then you should lose the power shot with the pups spawn out. Follow them down. I never had the power shot. Nice. And the archer survives. Oh, watch your lock onto your king tower here too. She might, oh no, the oh, needle. Can... I thought she was gonna three crown you there for a second. I, I could bring it a little closer. If I defend this last push, I can go in for one of these. And then you're going to try and go skeletons in front of it. And then spear somewhere. Oh, I missed, I missed the spear prediction. Wait, if I go evolved archers. Oh, no, I don't have my stuff. Stop. Wall breakers. Yep. No, oh, no, so no. close. No. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. Wall breakers, don't you do it. Wait, your tower's at 5 HP? I'm gonna no, cheese it. I'm not. sorry. I'm gonna go down. <gasps> Don't get <laughs> <any> archers! 
You evolved archers to destroy my tower. 6.5 tower range. Holy The crap. extra range? I, I was cycling like crazy for that pocket control because they insta connect like old RG does. Holy crap. Dude, archers, the evolved archers in the pocket. So now that we've actually figured out the evolved archers, what they do, what would you rank them so far against the other evolutions? Do you think they have a chance? Oh, for sure. It's This is going to be like as strong as the knight. Yeah, I think it's going to be, because it's only three elixir and it works in like any, almost any strategy can make archers work. It's, oh man, I'm just thinking right now, the fast cycle, like minor wall breaker decks with the evolved archers. I agree. You need like 2.6, like even the wall breaker two cycle, like evolutions just break the game <laughs> and everything is so cycly now. Oh, imagine 2.6 hog cycle with the archers instead of the musketeer. Oh. I can't wait for the world finals to see all the pros using evolutions. Oh. It's going to be such a cycle fest. Yeah, it's going to be so different than last year. I got recruits. Oh, yes. And I have my evolved archers down too. Let's go minions in the back to destroy. And then they don't activate the power shot because I dropped it on top of it too, which is nice. And Oh, that's true. My archer locks on because the longer range, right? There we go. I thought you said you didn't have a... You have a really spammy deck right now. What the heck? It's because I built a massive push on both lanes. But the recruits and the archers. Oh, I let you. Yeah. I just got too much, oh. too much pressure. Recruit split is going to be good. But the thing is, like, I just counter your deck because you got P.E.K.K.A. And you have no chance versus the recruits both sides and the archers. So we've tested out a variety of strategies. What I'm gathering so far from these evolved archers is that they will work in any deck. Very versatile card. Very effective at long range. And for only three elixir... You're almost always guaranteed value for them, especially with the split ability. I think this is going to be a very powerful Dude, there's evolution. there's a lot of decks. Oh, look, you got spam. You got the spam deck, too. You're going to have two archers down. <laughs> Your next one's already... You don't even have one archer yet, No, do you? I haven't dropped one archer yet. You already had the evolution activated. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> That's the power of the of, uh, the cycle game. <laughs> Finally get my first archers down here. No. Kind of expecting the uh, the evolved archers to be like super archers with the, with the tornado ability, but they were broken, dude. Everyone that hated them. That that was my the worst challenge ever. Yep. It was basically just spam super archers and counter super. It was archers. a super defensive slow challenge. Everyone got frustrated with it. So I think they realized, and that's kind of it's kind of cool. Maybe they use those those super challenges to like test out ideas that can be, they can use to implement the future in the in the in the evolutions. But if I drop my Infernal right on top of it, she gets no activation boost. Lumberjack goes within range and denies the oh, super char charge. 6.5 range, though. Oh, no, it's raged. Dude, she did a thousand damage to my tower there. More. Even on the right side, because your Infernal Tower couldn't lock on in time. Wow. You can really notice the difference, that the extra range, because the archers there didn't lock on. But the evolved archers just lock on immediately once they cross the river. And now you're going to go probably your exploit here, right? I won't let you. No. I won't let you do it. We're, oh, no. You're going to go evolve the archers there? Okay. All right. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. My body's ready. Okay. Give me that uh, expo. Give it. There it is. There it is. Let's go arrows and then balloon. Boom. Come on, balloon. All right. No. Well, I have a <laughs> oh, wait. Why did you use them so close? They don't get their power shot. Oh. You're right. Crap. It's okay, though. Uh, it was instinct because I was cycling to protect my expo. You're so used to playing archers there for like for regular archers. I can go arrows here. The Bro, power shot archers, archers dominate. Oh my goodness, dude! Your archer on the right side. <gasps> that's a, that's magic archer level damage on both sides for three elixir. World giant is five range. Magic archer is seven range. That last battle though is interesting because you had a fast cycle strategy and I didn't, and you were able to get the evolved archers a lot more than I was. But once we hit the double exit period, because of the of the split lane recruits and evolved archers, there's just nothing you can really do. Split archers was the play there. That was insane. Okay. I don't know why I blocked that. Uh, you're just cycling to your evolution. <laughs> It is. <laughs> it makes, evolutions make me play worse. They do. They encourage spamming and just like we split archers again. We get double lane power shots activated. There we go. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I love the pink arrows. Dude, did you see that your archer completely wiped my archer? Yep. And then it outranges the cannon as well because the extra range. Oh my god, 6.5 range. I'd even block yep. anything. Two shots to your tower. That's so much damage. 
Oh, let's see if this does anything. That, that gets within range. Denies the power shot. I goofed up. I goofed up. I goofed up. I goofed oh, up. I cool. wasted my evolution now. I'm tilted. I'm just going to cycle back to them. Wait, what if you use the nato to pull oh units away God. from your archers and then you get the power shot back? Is that too much elixir? Yes. Tornado would be really good. That's a really good point. So if I drop them like, like back here. Tor tornado might be meta. And then get that. Keep them out of range. Fireball destroys that one. But she's going to lock on anyways. That's a lot of damage. Dude, she does that so much damage much in that damage. short time frame that she's there. Look at destroy the mortar. <laughs> No! You keep countering them. They're so easy to counter. You know, I'm waiting for the most though with these ar archers. I'm waiting for all the videos that say archers broke Clash Royale. <laughs> Evolved archers. Oh. Broke Clash yeah, that's Royale. That's so true. Okay. Boom. Back to the evolution already. But I won't use them where you think I'm going to use them so you don't get fireball value. And then they don't die because the extra health. Or they do. Yes, they die? Do. Yes. Okay. So if your opponent's smart, you, they, they can still get destroyed very easily. I'm just going full on. You, you spend all your elixir on defense <laughs> here, and they get back to my evolution. This is how you win Clash Royale right now. This is what Clash Royale's become. You literally just spam it's and you just win. just spam evolutions. <laughs> no. Get out of here. Hog Rider. Oh, I missed it. No. We should be fine, though. Okay, one last push here. I'm splitting them up like, wide so you can't get the fireball value. And this is how we win. Yeah, forget that. I don't need no fireball value. Oh, no. See, this is why I want the recruits, though. I feel like my recruits deck was so much better with the evolution. Did we go split lane spam? We can't stop that right side. We lock that back here. I'm not stopping the right side. We're just going to no, go no, in hard no, on no, the no, left it's side now. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Nadal back there. We good. We good. We good. We're fine. You use your archers too close. They don't get the power shot. See? They get no power shot on the left side. Though. Oh, yeah. Crap. Oh, what they do when they cross the river. They just destroyed my archers. Oh, there's so much happening. My brain can't comprehend Wait a minute. This. I'm winning. Wait, it's overtime? Wait, 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 wait. I got time. I got time. No, yes, we no, do. No, 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 come no, on, no, come no, on, come on. No, 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 no. So close. Oh, was that? I think Tornado is going to be crazy. Tornado is going to be meta because people are going to pull, like, I would pull your archers near mine so they don't get the power shot. And then I would pull your units away so mine get the power shot. Dude, the evolved archers with like knockback snowball log, keeping it out of range of your archers to activate the power shot longer. Log and snowball and tornado. Yep. Yes. Snowball probably makes sense for air units like Inferno Dragon and Baby Dragon. Dude, Baby Dragon's gonna melt.